Hi everyone, this is Kieran Oversapin for Filmstorm Studios bringing you another exciting tutorial today and we have the Red Scarlet and we're going to show you how to set up rack focusing using the 70 to 200 millimeter lens which will give us really nice bokeh and as you can see we've got the mannequin in the background on A and on B we've actually had a little vase with some flowers in it and this will prov um, provide a really nice um, mixture to focus between and you can see the system works by just pressing on the different um, buttons we've set up and that will help us um, focus between them. So you can actually get started by going to menu, focus, and you'll see that we have all these different modes. Um, so we've got single, continuous, manual, um, touch track, but what we're going to focus on is the rack. So let's make sure we have that selected. And once we have that selected, we can go through and we can actually see we have these um, different options in here. So let's just focus on this next one, which is going to be the zone. Um, however, you don't have really many options um, for this one. It's just the, um, the single spot, but there will be other options for those ones. And in this size one, you can choose the different um, pixel portions that you want the sensor to actually scan for when it uh, adjusts the focus. So let's just keep it on medium for now. And you have these other options in the next screen for setting up the individual points. And you can see there's the different distances between A and B. And you can see it adjusting in the um, in the background there. And we have the five foot seven inches for B and 11 foot, uh, 11 feet seven inches. So you can see that on B there, um, it's gonna be closer to us. So on B is five foot seven inches and on A is 11 feet seven inches. So you wanna set up different distances and you can also press that rear autofocus button to automatically get the distance for you. And we even have that rack speed at the top so you can set it to go nice and quick. So let's do a test record now. And let's press A and it will snap into focus. So that is great, nice and responsive and it will snap back to B. So we can pause that video and let's jump back to focus and let's let's slow it down to, to get that really nice cinematic look of that, that really smooth transition. So here we go, we're gonna um, start this again and whoop, I just bumped it. All right, so let's, um, let's try it again, let's refocus. And boom, it snaps right into position. So that's really nice. So that is looking great. Let's pause that and we're looking good. So let's jump back to focus and here we can even give you more points. So say you have um, a few people and you want to focus between them and then maybe go to an item in between those two people, um, you, need, you might need a couple more points. So that's a great way to set that up. And then after you have all this footage, let's jump out of this menu and let's actually um, maybe review the footage. So you can press that little button in the bottom left corner. Let's load up the clip and let's do a quick playback. And here you can see, oh, we, we, that's that bump we had before. But now you can see that when I press the screen and then it, it does that automatic rack focus and that's just buttery smooth and beautiful. Alrighty, so I hope you enjoyed this um, tutorial. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials that you want to learn about, um, anything in cinematography, filming, camera angles, lighting, um, just put them in the comments and I will definitely get around to making it. Um, but for now, it's been Kieran Oversapien for Filmstorm Studios and I'll catch you guys next time.